welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java web application project which is entitled as data security model for cloud computing using vgrt methodology so before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we, we all know that cloud computing is emerging day by day and everyone has started using cloud and storing their data in the cloud. The problem comes here now, the security issue. So even for the users and also the, the cloud service providers, because many intermediaries or hackers all try to access the data that is stored in the cloud. So I mean the existing system we all know that while storing that data in the cloud they would have used some encryption techniques but here in this paper the authors are going to use some different encryption techniques so that the intermediate or hackers would are not able to access the data so here they are going to use three different algorithms that is RSA and Caesar cipher and triple T is algorithm. So using this three algorithm, the data is going to be stored in the cloud. So the intermediates are a hacker unable to know what kind of algorithm that is being selected by the data uploaders so that the data will be stored and made it secure in the cloud. Now let us see the execution of the project. So this project has been developed in NetBeans IDE. So just open Apache NetBeans IDE 16 and just go to the file menu and click open project now you need to go to the source code location in the source code folder you can see this data security so just select this and click open project and kindly wait till the complete project has been loaded into the NetBeans IDE. So here you can see the status of it. So meanwhile, let us attach the database. Let me minimize this Apache NetBeans IDE. And now let me go to the MySQL administrator part. So just click this MySQL administrator and log in with the credentials of username and password with root and root and click OK. And in MySQL administrator, you can see this restore option. Just select this and then click this open backup file. So in the open backup file, you need to go to the source code location again to select the database. Just go to the database folder and select the database and then click start restore. And now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close. Now you can close this MySQL administrator part. Now coming back to the NetBeans IDE, you can see it is going to complete now. And you can see the pro the loading is completed now. So you, the project is being loaded into the NetBeans Apache. So before running the project, make sure that your Apache Tomcat server is running. So just go to this services tab and then go to the servers, which is available in the third option. <coughs> now you can see the Apache Tomcat server is not running. Here you can see this, there is no, no symbol in it, which means that the server is not running. So just right click it and then click start. You can see the loading symbol here. And now you can see the authentication required message has been asked and you enter the username and password which you have configured during that Apache Tomcat. And now you can see the play symbol has been shown which means that this Apache Tomcat server is now running. Now, now let us go to the projects tab and you can select the project and then click run option. And kindly wait till the project has been loaded into the web part. now you can see the build successful message and then you can see the project is being loaded into the web part and now you can see the project home screen a welcome screen the project title data security model for cloud computing using vgrt methodology and here you can see the entities like client csp auditor and registration so as this project is a cloud computing project so we'll be storing the data in the local and also in the cloud so for the cloud we have used the service provider called drive hq so this is the free cloud service provider and here we will be uploading the data of ours so uh, let me log in and show you and this is the drive hq and here you can see the data that we have uploaded that will be shown here 
let me show you real time and show you that one so in case if you wanted to upload in your uh, drive hq account you can just go to the source code location where you can find this ftcon.java and here you can see the username and password where you need to upload your username and password so now let me log out from this drive hq part so now let me go to the project part so here you can see the options client csp auditor first let me go to the registration part so because i am a new user now so now let me enter the client name as jp and let me enter the username gmail id and username as jp password as jp and enter your date of birth and here you can enter your sex male or female and state country and the phone number and now let us click this sign me up option and now you can see the registration is successful and click ok now after the client registration part let me navigate to the client login so just click this client law menu it will be navigated to the client login page where you can see the email id and the password so you need to enter the email id and the password that we have used during the client registration time and after entering the email id and the password just click this login menu and you can see the login is successful message and click ok now it will be navigated to the welcome screen of the client page so now here you can see the client home screen where you can see the details of the profile so just click this profile you can see the details of your profile that is user id name gender email id data birth and the mobile number that you have used during the registration part and we have the file upload option so here as i said to you that in this paper we are going to propose three different algorithms so user can select here which algorithm they need to upload during the client uh, cloud upload process so just you can see td tds scissor cipher and rsa algorithms you use again select here so first let me select uh, data so just let me copy this and let me go to d drive and let me create a let me create a file name called testing 20 so let me name this as testing 20 and let me paste this let me upload this data now so just let me select the first algorithm tdes and let me it will be navigated to the file upload here option where you need to select the file so now let me go to the d drive and select testing 20 and now let me click this upload button So now after some time you can see file uploaded successfully on drive hq message and click ok. So now as I shown you earlier let me go to the drive hq part and log in with my credentials which I have used during the uh, registration part. So now let me you can see the file name here testing.txt earlier you can see that only this this file was available now you can see the date and time 22 2023 and time of it so just now i uploaded and that has been updated here so once if you click the file you can see the file is completely encrypted and you cannot see anyone or intermediate cannot know what is the content of it and as we have selected the algorithm and the intermediate cannot know about which type of algorithm they have used and let me click back here and now if you go to the file details you can see the client file detail that is what is your file so the file id what is the file name date and create and you can click here view to see or you can request to file to access the file of it so once if you click view you can see the file has been completely encrypted in the user part also so now let me log out from this part so now we have seen the client part so now let me go to the cloud service provider csp is a cloud service provider login so just enter the default username and password as csp and csp and click login so you can see the login is successful now and click ok and now you, you it will be navigated to the cloud service provider home page where you can see client authorized so you can see what who are all the client that is available so here you can see the client details like file client id name 
gender mobile number date of birth and state and so these are the client that is available i have created only one client so it is showing one and you can see the file details what all the files available by from the client side so once if you click the view also you cannot see the what is the content of the file from the even in the cloud service provider and you can see the download details who are all the file that is being done so we, i have not downloaded any file till now so it is empty now and now let me log out from this part and auditor part now let me go to the auditor part and it will be navigated to the auditor login page and now you need to enter the username and password of the auditor that is default username and password that is auditor and auditor only so just enter the username and password as same auditor and auditor and click the login button i'm sorry i've given wrong username password so just give the correct username and password and then click the login and now you can see the login is successful message and click ok and now it will be navigated to the auditor's home screen welcome screen and now you can see the details of the client so who are all the client that is available and what all the client request that is available and there is no any client request so it has been empty now let me log out so now let us know to the next part that is uh, requesting a file so now let me create another user so let me go to the registration part so now let me create an another user with the name of xx access and gmail id username as xx password as xxs and after entering those details now you can click this sign me up and now you can see the registration is successful message and click ok now let me go to the client part so now let me give the email id and the password and click login and now you can see the login is successful and now let me go to the file details and you can see there is no any file because this is the new user so they have not created any file right now so there is no files available and there you can see the requested files everything is empty now because i have not created any files right now so you can see that and now i'll go to the file upload part and now let me this time let me select a file caesar c cipher and let me select the browse and this time i'll upload the same file now again testing 20 and then click this upload part and now you can see you are already uploaded this file on drive hq because this file is the same file so this does not allow so it are uh, tells that to try uploading the different file so we have used the deduplication concept also in this project so now let me create some other file so let me name this file as existing and let me save this and now let me select the Caesar cipher algorithm and let me go to the D drive and select the file existing and then click upload and now you can see the file is uploaded successfully on drive hq and once if you go to drive hq you can see that file is will be available on it and now we will go to the file details where you can see the file id is 2 and file name and date and time and you can see that has been completely encrypted and uh, now let me log out and go to the csp part and show you so earlier we have seen there was only one client and now you can see the second client which i have created now and you can see the file details that has been updated second file that i have uploaded and uh, this time let me go to the client part and now let me go to the file details and let me request this file for access so you can see the request is sent successful and click ok and now if you go to the requested files you can see that the client file access request where you can see the uh, details of the client that is made requested and you can see the secret key is not generated now so now let me log out from this part and the auditor let me go to the auditor part now
so in the auditor part if you go to the clients you can see the client that is available and client request so here you can see the client that is uh, requesting the file and you can see the secret key you need to send the secret key to them so just click this send so here you can see the secret keys has been sent to the client now who has requested and it is you, now you can see this table is now empty and uh, now let me log out from this part and now let me go to the client login part and now if you go to the requested files where you can see now the secret key is been updated now you need to select the secret key and now if you go to the download part you need to select the algorithm which to decrypt so if you are giving a wrong algorithm it will not decrypt so let me click tds and give the security key you can see this your security key is not matched because i have selected a wrong algorithm so even intermediates or hackers cannot able to find which algorithm they selected so now let me go to the caesar cipher which i have selected and then now let me give the secret key and click verified and now you can see the secret key is verified successfully so only after selecting the exact algorithm and also after receiving the secret key only the user can be able to view the file that has been uploaded in the cloud which makes the cloud security more enhanced so now let me click this download so you can see the file is being downloaded existing.txt the desktop and you can open and see it and now let me click back and now let me log out and I'll go to the CSP part and click login and once after the login is successful if you go to the downloads part here earlier you can see it was empty and now you can see the <coughs> ID with the client name who has downloaded this file and what is the date and time of it so just now I have downloaded that has been updated here with the clients download part of it so in this way the data is been made more secure in the cloud using this VGOT methodology and this is all about the project data security model for cloud computing using VGOT methodology and thank you for watching